walking the dogs. I do this every afternoon when I get home from work. They love it. They expect it. I let them out into the yard and I'm pretty sure they don't go pee out there because they're waiting for their daily walk. They're super spoiled, but they have a good life. Um, I like our walks. Uh, it's not really very much exercise for me, but unless I run with them, which I do sometimes. Uh, but it's fun and I get to explore around my house, which is in the country. We're by the railroad tracks right now. Um, there are trails everywhere. I'm sure I haven't even touched the surface of the amount of trails near my house. Yeah, it's fun. Um, after this, I plan on, or I am, after this I am going to a new gym. I don't have a membership, but it's bring a friend week and I'm going with a co-worker. Um, it's kind of like a CrossFit type gym, but uh, they don't call it CrossFit and it's a little bit less competitive. So they don't have like really buff people there. It's just kind of everyday people, older people, younger people, teenagers, whatever. So lots of different types of people and I love it because, you know, it's more competitive than me working out at home. So it's a little bit more motivation for me to push myself harder, which I have a hard time doing by myself. I can make myself run and time myself, but to like do burpees or like timed like station type exercises. I just can't do that myself. I can, but I just won't get an awesome workout like I would if people were watching me. So I do that three times a week and then I also have volleyball on Wednesdays and then softball on Thursday. So I'm really, really busy and it's slightly overwhelming. Not overwhelming, just like constant go, 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 which is sometimes good but I find that I really need a rest every once in a while or like once a week so this video kind of turned into my exercise routine explanation um, so I'll go ahead and tell you what I do on the weekends too so it really just depends on what I'm feeling like doing most of the weekends I work in the garden and do yard work and stuff like that um, but typically I'll also go for some sort of run Oh my god, I almost fell. But I'm not running very far at the moment. I've had some slight injuries. Uh, so I've just been running in like little intervals, which I find is more fun anyway. Uh, distance, I just have a hard time with it. I just feel like it's harder on my body. And sprints are just, they get me more out of breath. I feel like I get more done in a shorter amount of time. And so it's just generally more fun for me. And I don't have that much time. I like to spend it with my dogs, in my garden, at my house relaxing, having a beer. And so I, while I enjoy working out, I love the way it makes me feel. You know, I don't wanna spend hours running on the weekends. Not that much fun for me. So sprints are right now what I'm doing. Or like really fast, like half mile runs. Oh, Vanna just ran into me. They're playing, they're being crazy. Get him. And then I also work in a ton of stretching into my routines because my body is so tight, like so tight. I don't know what's going on with me. I've been trying to do some research about why it's tightening up so much. Um, I've been getting dry needled at the physical therapist just to get rid of those trigger points, which are muscle knots. Um, and that's been working really well, but I find that if I exercise really hard, I just like tighten right back up again. And so, you know, going to the physical therapist is expensive. And so I don't want to keep doing that for the rest of my life. If you're deficient in vitamin D, then it can cause muscle tightness. But I don't know. I mean, I take a vitamin D supplement, but not really regularly. Calhoun, Savannah, come. Oh, I could be deficient in vitamin D. I don't know if that's the case or not. Hey, Boba. But I'm going to up my vitamin D intake and I'm going to get a liquid vitamin D because I've been taking a capsule and I heard that you absorb more of the liquid vitamin or any liquid vitamin better than you do capsules. So I'm going to try that out, see if it makes any sort of difference at all. Um, and I will probably do an update. All right, I think that's about it for exercise routine. I do take a rest day, obviously, at least one rest day. 
um, sometimes two, just depending on how I'm feeling, depending on the amount of sleep I got. I try to really listen to my body because if I'm tired, I'm just not gonna exercise well um, or feel good about it, you know? So I definitely try to listen to my body. And then I take the dogs on at least a one mile or more walk per day. So yeah. One other thing I wanted to mention about working out is that everyone prefers something different and I think it's important to listen to that and try not to go with what's cool or what's the fad at the moment because it's just not going to work for everyone. Like I tried to run distance because really because I wanted to be competitive in something and at my age the only real competitive thing I could do is run a road race so that's what I decided to do but I can be competitive in other ways. For example, I'm gonna run a Spartan, a Spartan sprint. That's a short run um, with more obstacle stuff. And so while I can't be too competitive at that, at least I can compete with myself. And I find stuff like that much more fun than just boring distance running. But some people really like that. Like my boyfriend loves distance running. I also like to bike. And so I do that sometimes as well. It's not much exercise around here, unfortunately, because we live in a really flat area. But if we lived in a hillier area, I would totally do that more often. And some people just love yoga. Yoga is so good for you. You won't necessarily get that cardio in there that's really beneficial, but for every other thing, ailments, um, stretching, just making sure your body's working properly, yoga is great. So everyone prefers something different. Just do what you love as long as you're doing something. There are multiple reasons that I exercise, and I would say the uh, number one reason is because it makes me feel good. It makes me happy when I am not feeling so happy. If I'm really tired one day, obviously I don't want to exercise and I'm, I'm not able to make myself go, but if I do make myself go, it gives me a lot more energy and just makes me in a generally better mood because it releases endorphins, and so that's the main reason. A couple other reasons. I like to know that I can just run if I need to run. I know that sounds silly, but if I want to run somewhere, if I need to run for some reason, I'm able to do that and I have enough cardiovascular endurance to do so. And then I also really like being able, like uh, being just strong and able to do things. I can lift most things by myself unless it's just really unrealistic and something about that just like kind of empowers me. I bet I have this thing where I don't love, I don't love, I hate it. I hate relying on other people. I like to be completely independent and uh, it really bothers me if I have to uh, get someone else to help me with something, especially something I should be able to do myself. So. You know, I try, that's why I do so many DIY things. I learn as much as I can about anything I'll ever have to do again. Yeah, and so uh, being strong is important to me in my everyday life. Why else do I work out? Oh, competition. So my whole life, I was really competitive in sports. And after college and playing softball in college, uh, once that was over, I kind of lost that and had nothing to compete in anymore. And that felt like I was, I don't know it just felt like I wasn't quite myself anymore and it was really just a shock to my life a little bit so yeah having something to compete in uh, is just really beneficial for my happiness and so that's why exercising alone is pretty difficult for me I really like to do it with someone else to have a support system there and to compete against them. Uh, I just find that really fun. It's not in a negative way. It's in a, you know, camaraderie, supportive kind of way. So yeah, uh, those are the reasons I enjoy working out. So if you're happy not working out, then good for you. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you're, if you're looking for that little boost, uh, I definitely suggest it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be late for the gym if I don't hurry. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I just got home. The dogs tend to act like I've been gone for days. Um, but <laughs> I forgot to turn my car off. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, I've been gone for about an hour. Maybe you can hear them. Hold on. They stopped barking. Just in time for the camera. 
Okay, hey guys. Bye, guys. All right, so I'm having a, let's see, where's the lighting the best? Where do I look the prettiest? Right here. Okay, so I'm having a post-workout beverage, recovery drink. It's not a recovery drink, it's just a beer. Um, which may not be the best recovery drink, but it's the one that's my favorite. As you can see, my face is awfully red. Uh, that happens when I work out, every time I work out. I asked my doctor about it once and he asked me if I was Irish and I am and he left it at that. So I guess my face gets red because I'm part Irish. So people ask me all the time if I'm okay, if I'm doing okay, if I'm gonna be okay. Or they tell me like how far the hike is, how much longer I have to go. I'm always okay. Yeah, so uh, today we did some circuit work or we're always doing like circuit stations at that gym. We did three different ones. One with weights, one with, uh, one for cardio and one for abs. And the weights one was front squats, box jumps, and the Spider-Man things. And then the cardio was row machine, kettlebell swings and burpees. And then the ab workout was like a hollow hold workout. So like a constant hollow hold. And all that was like three rounds. Anyway, it was a good workout dogs hurt something. My dogs are kind of freaking out because it's an hour past dinner time so and they clearly see lots of animals slash squirrels. Squirrels are animals. They see something. We see Vanna. Anyway I'm gonna finish up my beer, feed the dogs, and eat some dinner and then call it a night. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button in somewhere below. I'd really, really appreciate it. And also let me know in the comments if you'd like me to talk about anything else regarding fitness or health or anything like that. I'm not an expert, but I've definitely done lots of research. Vanna, do you want to close the video? Sit. Samantha, so, sit. Close it. Say bye. Goodbye.